All right, YouTube, here we are for round eight of the challenge. Round seven, excuse me. Last round I played against Spirits and won. So hopefully we can make that happen again. Won the die roll. First piece of success. This hand is nice. Um, I think I'm going to cycle before I fetch. All right. This hand's going to make one large shady boy. All right, so we're playing against regular Lantern. So this is pretty straightforward. This is just take Snaring Bridge, take Whirr. And then just be happy. And we have cut two copies of their card off. I'll use the good proxies. Because I forgot. That's really the only reason. So they drew that. That was the draw for the turn. This probably named Street Wraith. Street Wraith or Polluted Delta. Bloodstained Ladder. Not a bad name. Yeah, we're just going to go Thoughtseize into Shadow. So we're just going to take this Whirr. Play our turn 2 4 4. And then next turn, we're going to be able to guarantee play Gurmag Angler. Because they're, they're probably going to take my. Thought sees, I would assume. I don't know. They might take the Thought Scour. We had to hope that they don't land a bridge. Okay, so we're definitely going to Thought Seize. Well, now we're not going to. Now we might not do anything. We might just Thought Seize and then... Yeah, I think I'm just going to Thoughtseize and then pass. It kind of sucks not being able... Because, like, so here's here's kind of, like, my thought process. Is that... Because if I Thoughtseize my opponent, I can't play Gurmag Angler. <clears throat> if I thought Because, like, let's say they top deck bridge. There's no way they're casting their bridge on next turn if I leave a mana up. And they can just cast it next turn, and I can't stop that. So do I just go for it? Like, that just seems kind of risky when I can stop it. Yeah. I agree. If my opponent brutalities me, I'm just gonna let it resolve. Okay. So they transmuted to Larry West. It's like an engineered explosives. That would make sense. Go here. Jeez. Um, so now I just thought sees them attack and then hold stubborn denial, and I don't think I can lose from that point. Yeah, they just don't have a draw. So thought sees. 
We drew all four thought seasons. Holy shit. They'd have to hit like they literally can't they can't do anything next turn. So they'd have to hit like land, thought seas, and snaring bridge to get through my stubborn denial. Like they need to draw three cards and they only took one draw step. Yeah, that game was pretty fundamental. Pretty rudimentary. So it's a pretty straight, pretty easy boarding here. Um, we'll look at Michael's sideboard guide, which the gracious man has got three push, one rage, one dismember, one wraith, one lightning bolt, and new dude. And submit. <clears throat> My race open that set. I dislike the future site card frame, but it's pretty marginal. I don't like this hand. Like even though we have Hercules Recall, we don't have any pressure. It's just gonna get discarded. Your hand doesn't actually do anything. We already have this battle. I'm just going to mulligan. Okay, we'll keep this one. Put on the bottom. Rooted Delta. Okay. I'm going to go get a Watery Grave, cycle this, and then Thought Seize. Uh, there's a chance that I might have wanted to hit a fourth, third land there, like, but it's a shock land, so it's not that important. You'd have kept that hand, Pedrobas. What's happening? Why is my opponent holding priority? The recall's nice, but you don't have any disruption or any threats, right? A great draw. We drawn pretty well this match. Yeah, this hand's very good, I think. This is like a premier six. Well, that Psy is getting out of here. This is like a Thopter Foundry variation of the deck. Sort of make into Dark Foot Shores. You got it. Okay, so that's what they drew for the turn. I want a sleight of hand. Like, we could Thought Scour pick or mag, but I'm just going to get this. And if I find a... Uh, if I find... That doesn't do it. I guess I'm just going to take the island. And then play it, and then we can rebuild next turn. We can hold up stub for bridge. I was hoping to go into a way to play my Death Shadow there. So I kind of want a Thought Scour because... Like, it gives them the green light to do something with the with the Tormod's Crypt, but that takes them one shot off of Whirr, 
and I'm not tapping out to play my Gurmag Angler this turn anyways. And I would rather like find something that lets me do something with Shadow. So like, yeah, like well, this is pretty mopey, but I'm not gonna do anything. Like, yeah, see, like that's a good draw. Like me just doing nothing isn't gonna isn't gonna work out. Yeah. It might be. So they played Island. They're drawing Mox. Okay, so they're just doing nothing over there, which is good for the home team. We can just have two. Yeah, we get to just play Gurmag probably next turn. Okay, so they got this is gone, this is gone. So they River Tears Underground Sea. Hmm. So I can extract Psy, which also grows Shadow, which I kind of like. And it turns on Stubborn Denial, so I can counter words or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to extract this sign. Because we currently don't have an answer to one of those. This makes Shadow bigger. This turns on Stubborn Denial. We don't want to bobble them first, right? Because it's going to shuffle it. They have a Tezzeret. Now we can see what's going on here, and if the, my opponent's not doing anything, then we can just jam. Yes, yeah, so now we can just jam Gurmag Angler because we know what we're, our opponent's drawing. Right? Like, this doesn't do anything. Yeah, we can just play Angler now. Yeah, they might be drawing nothing. You can wait on the surgical. Well, this is the point of the surgical, right? Okay. We have an insurance package. Yeah, we really do have it all. Like, we have their one draw step covered two different ways. Okay. Nice. 